Welcome builders, Andy is your day home. Welcome back to Minecraft 1.14. Minecraft 1.14. It's a medieval build. I've got a little island here. We've done a couple of episodes already. Welcome back to episode three. Can you guess what this is? We've got a sawmill, the guy or the girl who would saw the logs into planks. But where do you get the logs from? You get them from a forest. And how do you maintain a forest? Of course. Did you guess it? This is a forester's house. Hey, if you like this kind of thing, if you like creative building and like being inspired in the 5x5 building series, then hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell. And that way you will see my live streams and you will also get notifications of each particular episode in this season. Season 2 of the Medieval Kingdom. Um, if you would like to download this island as well, you can do on my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda, and you can download for just a couple of dollars this entire island with just the first few buildings done, and you can have a go at building your own kingdom, 5x5 five five styles, and that's in Java and in Bedrock. Alrighty, the second build of today is going to be a stables, somewhere for the Lee horses to live. And I've already said that our logs in this kingdom are pulled by big horses. So we need a stables, just a small stables to begin with, just three booths for the horses. Is that what you call the stables areas where the horse go, the booth? It's probably not called a booth, is it? Anyway, we'll take a good look around these stables and we'll put some horses in, we'll put some villagers in as well. Okay, well in a couple of minutes, we will have a look inside the forester's house. We'll have a look inside the stables as well. Maybe we add some villagers, we can add some horses and maybe some lanterns as well. They look very good. But first of all, look at this. I've added a little fishing ship here, a little fishing boat. Uh, would you like to know how to build it? Probably you would. You're going to need these ingredients in the hot bar. You need spruce fences, about 12 or something. One iron bar, about six, seven trap doors one spruce trapdoor, oak slabs need about nine of them, uh, oak stairs probably about 12, a stone button, dark oak signs 14 of and some wool for the stairs. So we're going to start in the water like this. Oh by the way it's got a little tiller there, the iron bar, and that can stick the link down onto the rudder down below formed out of a spruce trapidorus maximus. Anyway, so this is where you want to start. And we're going to count out six slabs, upper slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can get rid of your marker rules like that. Make the last one a double like that. Bring this out like that. And then we want to bring it out one more, but put that on there and get rid of that one. In other words, do that kind of thing. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six slabs. The last one makes it into a, a full block of oak. We come out one and come out up again. And this block right here is this block under the jib sail mast there. Okay, we're going to go on add another two of them. And then here we're going to go one and two like that. Pretty easy so far. Then we're going to switch over to oak stairs. I'm going to go for four. One, two, three, four. I'm pretty sure it's four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four of them on both sides. Upside down oak wood stairs. One, two, three, four. Um, then we're going to go for three stairs normal direction. One, two, three. Same on this side. One, two, three. Then an upside down there. An upside down there and then on the inside of the boat correct the way up back seat like that and i think that looks kind of boatish i've never actually built a boat before in minecraft until I, I got to this point put your rudder in like that and add your little tiller the thing that controls the rudder that looks pretty cool to me it's an easy boat isn't it really easy boat so spruce fences are going to go in here seven of these one two three four five six seven and then jib sail or four sail here. One, two, three, four, five. Then we can actually build the sails themselves and it just comes down in a triangle from the top. So one becomes two, becomes three, becomes four, like that. Do you know what you, can, you could also do? You might want to add some spruce trapdoors. Ooh. An improvement on the fly. We like improvements on the fly. Apart from the fly. The fly probably doesn't care for being improved. 
spruce trap door is there so that's how i've done my little sails all right and then i'm going to add some stone buttons you can put them whenever you want i put the one there and i'm going to go here and here here and here as if you're wrapping ropes around those i suppose uh trapidorus maximus at the back here a couple of ochus trappist doris here one two one two boom boom and then one two three boop 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 one two one two and that just creates a little sort of illusion of kind of a back stay or just a bit of support at the back of your boat there i don't really know what i'm talking about do i when it comes to boats uh dark oak signs start at the back here we're gonna go one two three four five six seven signs same ones on the other side and we're pretty much done i think apart from the dragon one two three oh no we've got a d on the boat Boom, boom, boom. And then the dragon. Give me the dragon head. And there we go. We have ourselves a little teeny tiny fishing boat. We might upgrade these later on. Is there any fish here, by the way? I haven't seen any fish for ages. Is that... I thought that was a sunken wreck. What is this? What is this, by the way? I don't know. Something that needs investigating. What... I, I, I run away. What is that? Is that a boat? It's super weird. Anyway, running away. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments what exactly, <laughs> what exactly that is, because I, I don't, I don't really know. Let's add these spruce trap doors here. And there we go. A couple of little fishing boats. Tell me what you think. I like the dragon heads. Right. What we want to do is add some horses, horse, some villagers, and we want some lanterns as well. Some nice details. Okay, so let's grab lanterns first of all. So let's start on the, the stables. Where can we add lanterns for the stables? Hmm. I've got an idea. Let's grab oak fences and go here and here and I think the lanterns could sit nicely on top yep that looks good I'm happy with that um, we could definitely put a lantern here ooh yeah it's something I've missed out by accident if you'd like to see tutorials um, for the forester's hut or maybe this stables then let me know in the comments and if enough of you say, yeah, 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 show me, show me, show me, show me, then I'll be doing some tutorials on these little builds. So the lanterns fit cutely in there. Loving that. Um, let's stick one right here. And definitely right here to light your way up the stairs. Oh, that looks fantastic. We could even go crazy with lanterns. Give me a new block and I go kind of crazy with it. Um, oh, do you know what we want to do? definitely want to just link this round so you can actually walk up these stairs properly so I want to do some more fences here do we have any gates let me grab this gate here um, in fact I put the gate there it makes a bit more sense and then we're gonna do that just to stop the horses getting out jumpy horses yeah so to, to get into the uh, to get into this abode to get into the stables in terms of living accommodation you need to go up that way and there's your little stables there and you can also climb down into the store if you wanted as well cool teeny tiny stables again we might upgrade it we might enlarge it later on let's go for some horses <laughs> loving it and we'll stick some horses out here in the paddock as well and we may even enlarge the paddock and take up a bit more space later or maybe this sort of space what building do you think sh what buildings do you think should go along here what should i be building next in this town okay let's grab some lanterns into the forester's place as well um so that he or she is all happy about living in their forest dwelling i think maybe here is a good spot for a lantern and maybe one on the corner here and maybe just there yes loving that loving that and definitely inside here i haven't shown you guys in here but this is where you would work on being a forester might just put that in there as well 
and this is where all your seeds would be kept in all these chests. It would have been cool if there was a seed in that random chest that I opened. But there we go, there's our nursery with all our <laughs> um, all our trees ready to be planted. So we've got trees, we've got watchtowers, we've got stables, we've got a saw mill. Uh, we've got, what have we got here? We've got the fishing center as well. We've got houses. I need to start adding some more houses to this place. And we've got kind of a town center as well. But that'll do for today's episode. Remember, you can download the, uh, the island with all this bit done uh, on Bedrock and Java Edition on my Patreon. So check out patreon.com forward slash Andy if you want to download the island and have a go at making a medieval uh, island yourself. That is all I'm going to do in this episode. A couple of splendid builds been added. Let me know what you think of the forester and the stables and the boat. And I will see you very shortly in a couple of days next time. Ciao, ciao, with the blocks. Be with you.